All right, the sixth season of the treasure track is going to be starting fairly soon. We expect it around the 1st of October, right when Pumpkin Fest starts, so they should be starting around the same time, and this season of the treasure track is obviously going to be very related to Halloween and the spooky season in total. So, as of the time I'm recording this part, um, the treasure track season 5 ends in 6 days, it will be less by the time I'm actually uploading this video, more like maybe 4 or 3 days. But today I'm going to be going over my predictions for what we will be seeing item wise in season 6 of the treasure track. Now some of this is actually confirmed by the wizard watch artwork and some of it is not, it's just speculation, but it makes sense based on the theme of the season, the spooky season, Halloween, all that. So let's go ahead and dive into what I think we will be seeing for returning items, I should say, in the treasure track, because you can't really predict um, new items and what they'll look like, because, well, until you actually see what they look like, you can't really predict them, so hopefully we get new items, like new buddies, like at least one new buddy, maybe a new pet, if we are lucky, um, that would be great, hopefully one or two new mounts as well, maybe a furniture item or two, you never know. Um, also, I do really wonder if this, uh, next season is going to be similar to season five in the way that it had 60 treasures and it took a lot less time to complete each treasure due to the amount of points it required to complete each treasure. It was, that was a lot less. And I do wonder if the next season will have 60 as well, or if it will go back down to 30. I'm really... Not sure, but I kind of do hope it is 60 because I like having, you know, a lot of rewards. And even though the um, more major rewards were spread out in Season 5, that's okay. I feel like it, it it's a nice change to have 60 treasures that, w that are easier to complete. So I do kind of hope that it stays that way. We will just have to wait and see, though. But we do have... Um, the wizard watch artwork for this upcoming season of the treasure track which confirms some of the items that are going to be in it so let's go ahead and pull that up and see what we can see first off we see a couple of wizards that are just you know wearing uh, spooky themed gear I don't think the gear items are going to be in the treasure track that's not what usually happens they're just wearing the gear kind of some of what's in pumpkin fest and um one thing you'll notice is that there are actually a lot of magic coins around so um that does make me wonder if the magic coin release is going to happen at this time that we will actually be seeing um magic coins finally added for everybody with this treasure track um hopefully that happens we've been waiting a long time for that to be out of beta testing so hopefully that happens along with pet slots as well both of those are needed to kind of be released at the same time. We also see the Jacko Sprite pet. This totally makes sense. Jacko Sprite was originally released in the Season 6, I believe, Ultimate Member box. So it was an Ultimate Member pet, but um, it just recently became obtainable again by rescuing it in the Dragon Isle. So anybody can rescue it in the Dragon Isle as long as you have ma magic coins the magic coin update so it's available for everybody i don't know if it will be ultimate members only come this treasure track but um we will just have to wait and see just know that when even though it will likely be in this treasure track um it will also be obtainable in the dragon isle as uh it has been for the past uh over a month now but um yeah it totally makes sense for the spooky season now we also see a couple of different things we see a couple of different buddies we see first we see the ruin bat buddy which is currently unobtainable it was previously obtained by uh spending the lucky loot in harmony island specifically part one of harmony island and you could get the ruin bat from there and it has not been obtainable since the removal of harmony island in 2023 so <laughs> here it is and it it's the third 
of it was the only one of the uh, Harmony Island buddies that had not been re-released. The Ruined Rabbit and Tasmanian Tiger have already been re-released in different ways. And so it looks like this one is finally getting re-released here. It makes sense because um, it is a bat. And hopefully we will be seeing an HD update for it. We've seen an HD update for both the Tasmanian Tiger and Ruin Rabbit. So this artwork shows it in HD. Hopefully we will be seeing it in HD in game. They usually do that with buddies. So that totally makes sense. Um, we also see the Cato Lantern buddy. So this does make sense as well for the spooky theme. It is currently a, still obtainable by buying it in the uh, uh, Great Hall shop for Academy pages, but it looks like it will be obtainable in this way now. So it also is in HD here. And one different thing about this buddy is that in game, it has its icon updated to be HD. And it has been that way since March of 2023. However, its uh, sprite, its appearance, has not been updated to be HD yet, and um, we've been waiting for that and quite a few others to be updated for a long time. So hopefully this is the time that the Cato Lantern finally gets updated to be HD, and we can obtain it in a different way with the treasure track. Um, here on the far left side, we see like a head poking out. It looks like kind of like a, a little dragon but I'm actually not sure what this is. If you know what this uh, uh, creature is and if it's something that's already in game, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to uh, hear that from you, but I don't recognize it as something from in game, but it might be and I might just be missing the connection, but we'll just have to wait and see because the treasure track should be starting very, very soon. Like I said in the beginning, around October 1st, when Pumpkin Fest starts, I would not be surprised if these two started on the exact same day. Now, there's a couple of other things that I want to talk about that I think might show up in this season for returning items that are not confirmed in this artwork. I think that the Ghost Plushy furniture item is going to be making an appearance. It was a re it was first released alongside Jacko Sprite in the Season 6 Ultimate Member Box, and it has not been obtainable since then. So I think it will definitely show up in the treasure track. I would be very surprised if it did not show up. Another furniture item that I wonder if is going to show up is the uh, Spooky Fireplace furniture item. That was in the October 2023 member box, and so it's been about a year since it was released, and it obviously became unobtainable in November 2023, so I do wonder if this is going to be re-released in here. I wouldn't be really that surprised if it was either. It's just another furniture item they could put in there that is Halloween themed. It would totally make sense. Um, I don't think they're going to put any... Um, things from uh pumpkin fest itself in there like the original like some of the stage rewards i don't think they will be there i don't think the any items from the shop would be there of course um well, well mostly i think that the morph marble bat swarm is a good choice to put in the treasure track um i think that will definitely show up we'll just have to wait and see maybe a couple of other pumpkin fest themed morph marbles it would be <coughs> Sorry about that. It would be great if there was a new Morph Marble added, like Morph Marble Blaze was added for this treasure track, but we will just have to wait and see on that. And as for the Mythical Epic, I think the best choice here is Nebula to be put in the treasure track. Um, that it's a shadow themed, it's a shadow Mythical Epic and works perfectly for Pumpkin Fest. Um, Luna is also an option, but I think Nebula is what they're probably going to go with since Nebula has not been obtainable since 2022 when it was first released. So that makes sense to go ahead and re-release Nebula at least first in this uh, season of the Treasure Track and re-release Luna sometime later. One thing I also wonder is if we're going to be seeing Candy Corn in the Treasure Track, just an extra way to get uh, the Pumpkin Fest currency. I would not be surprised if we did see it, um, but they may or may not do that. But then, um, as for new items, like new items that are being created, I really don't know because you can't really predict that until we have leaks for it, which as far as I know, we do not at this point. But, <coughs> sorry about that again. 
Um, I would love to see another uh, new pet that would have been in an Ultimate member box, such as like the ones that have been created for the Treasure Track, like Melody Dreamlet, Painter Sprite, etc. I think that it would be great to have one of those, but I would not get my hopes up for having a new pet. Um, I just would basically expect re-released pets. Um, like I said, there may be like a new buddy, new spooky themed buddy, which would be great. Maybe a new furniture item. We'll have to see on that on those. Um, I think we can expect at least one or two uh, mounts to be added, like there have been the past few treasure tracks. So some kind of spooky themed mounts would be great. Um, I think, yeah, that would be perfect. Um, can't wait to see what they have ready for us um, with those mounts. Um, but really think that might be um basically all wait oh yeah pet gear um i expect that we'll be seeing like a new wave of pet gear be added that is uh spooky themed and halloweenish themed so i expect we'll be seeing quite a few pieces of pet gear as usual in this treasure track that have not yet been leaked that are uh halloween themed so Anyway, I think that's pretty much all I can predict at this time. Um, we will see more um, as we get closer. We should be seeing more at least as we get closer. And um, we will, it will not be long until uh, this season of the Treasure Track starts. Maybe about a week until October starts. So a little less than a week. We, uh, we don't have long to wait at all. But... Anyway, those are my predictions and also what has been confirmed for season six of the treasure track. I'm super excited for this. Can't wait for it to start along with pumpkin fest. And what do you think about these leaks for season six of the treasure track? And what else do you hope shows up in this next treasure track? And are you excited for it? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments.